everybody, welcome to the channel, it's W3 here. In today's Python tutorial video, we're going to be learning about IP addresses and how to track the IP address and find the location of the person behind the IP address in Python. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more great tutorials and videos in the future. Let's get to it. So we're just going to test out these two programs. Before you start, one of the programs you need geolightcity.dat and that's the geolightcity database which is a big company they've got a database basically for like the whole world of IP addresses where area they're to etc etc you know they've done all that that'll be in a link in the github description now I'm gonna press control B I'm gonna run this bit of code and we'll see what happens as you can see, it's finished in three seconds. We've got country code, postal code, area code, latitude, longitude, city, region, time zone, obviously the city. That's going to be blurred out for obvious reasons. The country name, United Kingdom, yep, that's fine. This particular program that's run here, yep, that's specific to my city. But before, where my IP address was from before, as it's changed now, from the ISP for some reason it would be out but it would still be near the area and this program here the second one this one used to be really specific and hit hit the city perfectly but now as I run this code this is actually out by a little bit but it's still pretty close to the area so that's why I've got both of them on here today and um, I suggest you use both and then make a sort of you know decision and have a look and here we have it. it has a little bit less code subdivisions location it's got an accuracy radius so that's pretty accurate to be honest the accuracy radius that's that's good that used to be five so that's how accurate it was this program but as my isp has changed my ip for some reason it's obviously accuracy radius is now 50 so yeah but it's still pretty close and anyway, that's going to be what we're going to be learning today. So let's get and get let's get going. So before we begin, you've got to go to the GitHub page. Like I said, get the geolightcity.dat. Make sure that's the same file. That's it. That's with the same file as the Python code. And we're going to have to start with import. So we'll do import. And what we're going to import is import py and then geo ip and that's the geo ip like the geo ip location like what some websites use you know they use geolocation to get your location <clears throat> same sort of principle now you might need to obviously download that from the um python like website not the python website but there's a website that has a lot of python libraries etc so yeah google that or whatever and you'll be able to download that and then add it to your libraries etc what we need to do next is gip for i guess goip equals py goip dot and then capital g and then eo capital i and capital p and then we need to add the geolightcity.dat file. So we're going to just do that. Then we're going to geo um, light city dot dat, and that's the name of the geolightcity.dat. That's the name of um, the database file that we're going to be using. So next we need to do g. Um, what was it? res and then we can do equals and then jip for this variable here and then we can do dot and then we can do record underscore by underscore address and then we're going to need to type in an ip address so i'm just going to make a variable here it's called my underscore ip underscore address and then going to go back up to the top and do my underscore address equals request dot get https da, 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 api and then ipify dot org 
dot text and we're going to import requests and what that will do is that will go to this website here and basically if you go to that website in your own browser it will load a blank page and all it will have on that blank page is your IP address in text so we're getting the data from that page and we're getting the text which would be our IP address so that's that bit done next we need to loop through the dictionary which is what this will be res let's print it out just to have a look at what actually is res and as you can see it's a dictionary and it's got all this sort of data in here it's got postal code and then the value it's got a key country code the value gb it's got the city and then obviously this people have blurred out probably on youtube for you guys it's got the country name which is a key and then it's got the value united kingdom so we're going to loop through that and then we're going to print it out looking nice so we know what's going on so let's move that down we we'll do for key and value in res dot items and then we're just going to do print f for format and then key no we're going to do f for format yeah and then bracket key and another bracket curly braces and the value curly braces and that and then little little dots there so we're going to print this out again and see what it looks like and as you can see it's a lot different now it's a bit more readable and a lot better so yeah that's the first one very simple like i said only a few lines of code and we can get the city and the location longitude latitude time zone postal code etc depending on your ip address the other one might be a bit more accurate or this one might be a bit more accurate they're both going to be pretty accurate and i'm guessing one of them is going to actually have your city basically so my guess is use them both and you won't go wrong so now it's time to go to the next one right so the second program we're going to have to do the same imports imports and we're going to do from geo light to import geo light to what that is is that's another python library that you can either get from doing pip like you normally would or maybe if you can't do that you can find it on google etc you just have to download it install it like you would like you've probably been doing for other Python libraries because it's not in the standard library. We're also going to need to import requests. Now this program doesn't actually use the GeolightCity.database, so you don't need to worry too much about that file. But you should have it because you should have gone on my GitHub and followed it and got the code and everything from there as well. So it's a bit easier. We're going to make a function because there's a bit more code. And we're going to do my underscore IP underscore location with a variable called my underscore IP that's the IP address we're going to be using to track the location we're going to need a variable called reader which is going to equal geo like to dot reader and location which is going to equal reader dot git and then my underscore IP so the location variable is going to actually be a dictionary and what we're going to have to do is Instead of iterating through it and looping through it and printing out the key and value pairs like we did before, we're actually going to have to print location and then we're going to have to type the keys to get the value out of the dictionary as you'll see in a minute. So I'm just going to copy and paste this here because I don't want to be here all day. So we've got A equals location and then we've got square brackets. And then we've got city, continent, country, location, postal, registered country, subdivisions. They're the keys. Now, obviously, location and postal is like an integer. It's not really a name of anything, so we just leave it like that. 
Now these city, continent, countries, etc. They're strings. They're also names. So we have to do another bracket and put names. And we also have to do another bracket and put en. Just the way it is. Once you've done that, we just have to print them out, make it look nice, and have the key names along with the values. So we know where they relate to. Not just print out A, B, C, D and have the values. We want also the key to go with it. So I've also just copied and pasted this here as well. And it has the city and then percent %s, which is format string, slash n, new line, and then obviously continent, and then the same for each one. And then we've got A, B, C, D, E. A relate to A, goes to the here. B goes to the second, percent %s. C goes to the third, and so on. So now it's time to run the code. Now all we've got to do is add our IP address, my IP variable, my underscore IP equals da, 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 requests dot get https da, 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 api dot ipify dot org and then we want the text like before it has the IP address just on a blank page and then we need to run the code so my underscore IP underscore location my underscore IP so we're going to run the code, see what happens. And as you can see, we have the city key, continent, country, location, postal, etc., etc., printed out right here. Then the percent s's format strings. We have the values going down here, which is a b c d d d d, and the values which are from here. And it finished in 7.1 seconds. That's pretty quick. It's pretty good. It's pretty accurate as well. It's got the accuracy radius 50. It's pretty good going. And like I said, one of the programs should actually be your city. So that's why you want to do both, really. And that's why I've shown you both today. You can't go wrong if you do both. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the Python tutorial finding out how to track an IP in Python. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit like, make a comment, hit that notification bell so you're always updated with the latest and greatest tutorials. Check the description for a link to get some awesome hacking Python W3 apparel if you're interested. And yeah, if you've got anything you want to ask me, you can don't hesitate. Put a comment below, ask me anything if you want. And goodbye.